Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack crack and addiction. We're here with my queen, Queen Machesa, and a box of conspiracy. Take the crown. A good friend of Pat and mine's. Yeah, that's right. It's one of the patrons. He's a pretty good dude. Helped us gain access to a whole case of Take the Crown. And uh, Pat and I, at this point, I think we're racing to see who's going to get the Foil Mythic first. And, uh, yeah, you know, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was uh, hoping it was me. So let's uh, crack some packs, have some fun, and reminisce on how bad this set is. That's right, I'm kidding. I know, it's amazing. This set has a lot of powerful cards. We're even gonna pay attention the uncommons because there's a few good ones but the first rare we get is followed footsteps and we get a mythic that luckily doesn't take up the mythic slot that's sovereign's realm a mythic conspiracy card that's right so it might seem like we hit you know nine mythics but really it was just seven good ones and two conspiracies this is what I hope. Hopefully it's not a garbage fire. Ah, ooh, Burning Wish. I remember when Judgment came out and this card came out and just how stupid good that was. That was a very exciting card. Sovereign's Realm artwork looks amazing. Might not be a good card because well, it's useless outside of a draft. But boy, does it look cool. They also have a good twenty-some dollar rare in this. Ooh, burgeoning. There's a good one. See, there's so many little cards like this that I think we all just forgot about and didn't have a deep enough appreciation for the set or Seb McKinnon's artwork as a zombie token. If there's a way to put his name in a video, I'm gonna do it. Soon these playmats we should have. I did the second Kickstarter, I did the first one too, and you've seen those in other videos, but I'm excited to get the ones that I ordered in this one because there are some goodies. Explosive vegetation, we'll put that off to the side. That's pretty good. And holy of old, Emissary of Trest. Kind of a mid-rangey mythic. And we got a rare emissary's ploy. Emissary's ploy. It's not the one you want to see, but back in the day, it was the one you wanted to see. That used to be high value until... He got banned from Commander because it was deemed too good. And it was so fun because it was basically just salt eye good stuff and locked down your opponents a little bit. Arcane Servant is our rare. And, ooh, we got a foil throne of the high city. Let's you become the monarch. Not bad. So we got our foil rare. Not a bad one. Pretty solid. But hopefully we still find that foil mythic. I think the best foil to get, it used to be Leovold, which I've opened in a previous video. Make sure you check that out. I'll link it at the end. It'll just be a button for you to click on. But now, ooh, Wild Pair, another good card. Now the best foil mythic you can get is actually uh, Queen Marchesa. I think she's like 200 and... $30 or $240, something crazy like that. She's she's real expensive. Very, very good card. Ooh, Palace Jailer, that's a good one. Let's see what else we got here. Ooh, and Pariah. So another solid rare, not an expensive one. Ooh, and a beautiful foil Ascended Law Mage. That looks really good. Had to pause the video for a second. I had a loud machine kick on. I had to go turn it off. So if you see an awkward cut, you're welcome. Saving you that annoying noise. Ooh, Diabolic Tutor. Gonna start pulling these aside because Crick, Carrick, makes that that much better. Actually, Coiling Oracle is really good too. And another burgeoning? <laughs> I'll take it. 
If you're gonna get a duplicate rare, I'll take a burgeoning. Not a bad card. And a foil negate. Look at Grenzo on there. I think that's Grenzo. You can correct me if I'm wrong. The other thing that's nice about these conspiracy sets, they feel very mastery in their cards, reprints, and new cards, but they're also 36 packs and not 24. Always a fan. Rogue's Passage. Flesh Bag Nodder. And then Selvala's Stampede. There's a good one. Another one of the solid rares in the set. I think a flow one of these goes for a pretty penny too. So we're one myth again. We got plenty of time for expropriates, Salvala. What are some of the other really high end mythics? I know those are the two best. Marchesa, Coveted Peacock, and ooh, the Dusk Mantle Seer. It's that Vamp Wizard. Better than people give him credit for. He's not too bad. And then we got a rare weight advantage. And the Monarch. Let's see if I can speed this up a little bit. I just enjoy opening these old sets that I have a hard time wanting to rush it. Adriana, Captain of the Guard. Anybody have an Adriana Commander deck? And if we can find... Even if it's another foil Salvala, that would be exciting. Berserk. Got another Mythic. Another mid-range, solid Mythic. This is actually a really nasty finisher for green. I think one that honestly doesn't get enough love. People don't play that card enough, and it is very, very good. In a pinch, it's even a removal spell. You kill the creature that's coming at you. The Dragon Lair, Spider. Yeah, that one's not so good. I got no good things to say about that. Still got a whole other stack of packs to go through. Plus, like, six more on this one. Let's see if we can get one more Mythic before jumping over to the other side. And fast, that used to be real good. Keeper of Keys. And Shiny Things. So, no spoilers really yet for Throne of Eldraine. We just get a little bit of a tease and a brawl set that's coming out. What are you guys hoping for? Love to read some comments on what you're hoping to see, what you want to see. Exotic Orchard. It's a $2 card that should be worth a lot more. Real good. But, you hoping it to be a heavy tribal deck? Do you think it's going to be kind of a Lorwyn feel? I know it definitely has that you know, fairy tale look to it. And we've got the ginger dead man or whatever his name's gonna be. Ooh, we got the Peliano Vanguard. I thought it was a recruiter of the guard for a second. The Peliano Vanguard. And a foil kill shot. That is a pretty good foiling. The foiling in this set is pretty good overall. Ooh, we got a rare hold the perimeter. Is there a way to play with those without being in a draft, the conspiracy cards just have to be in the draft setting. I don't know. I haven't seen a ghostly prison yet. Covenant of Mines. Ooh, no. Some more Seb McKinnon. Assemble the Rankin Vial. Bunch of the Seb zombies in that. Three packs left in the first stack. Gotta sneak out another Mythic here. Ooh, Beast Within's good. And the Hundred-Handed One. And a Foil Prey Upon, that big werewolf. That is what I would love to see, if you were curious, for Throne of Eldraine. If we're getting this whole fairy tale land, I feel like the big bad wolf or werewolves should exist. And boy, would it be fun to finally get a proper werewolf general. Custody Lich. Yes, it's custody. Last pack. At least, uh, at least give us one of the pain blockers. Let's see a Kaya here. 
I wouldn't be so bad in the first the first ring. Ah, desertion, love the artwork. This is a very beautiful card. And the hired heist. All right, we gotta hope that these packs close out strong. We we need to go on a little run. Hopefully, see four mythics in this slot, not counting conspiracy cards. Oops, your visions. There's a good one. And the Charm Breaker Devils. Another one that's really underpriced. I think it's like less than a buck. But the card itself, very good. And the old pimply face disenchant. Gross. Guess this is our warm up. Our warm up box as we get ready to crack through six of these things. Capital punishment. Here we go. That was terrifying. I don't know if you heard that on camera, but it's another haunted video. Inquisition of Kozilek. Another fantastic rare. Wish it was still an uncommon, but it's good. And Hadriana's Valor. Did anybody notice that this person's just getting their face headbutted in? Just a bloody headbutt. I think a lot of people thought that was like a bite or something like that. Some vampires biting. Nope, it's just somebody giving a ruthless headbutt to the other one. This is the pack that has the expropriate, so that's going to feel good. We needed that. Another flesh bag. Ah, uh, another desertion. I thought it was going to be for a second there. Desertion actually kind of looked like show and tell. Which is another solid mythic here. But the biggest one, really, it's Expropriate and Selvala. Those are the big $30, $40 hits. And then Recruiter of the Guard Rare is like $20 or $30. Another Diabolic Tweer and the Forgotten Ancient. Good for all your counter decks. And another Emissary's Ploy. Oh, there was that token. I actually think the Palace Sentinels might be worth a dollar. Faith's Reward. Gotta have faith. Faith, faith. It's, it's reminding me, have faith. Boxes close out strong all the time. Tons of beautiful mythics in the close. Ooh, <laughs> Kami of the Crescent Moon. There was a time where I was thinking about making a commander deck with Kami. He's a fun commander. Everybody likes him. It's just like, you know, a commander howling mine. There's no reason to kill him. Just let him be. They're ready. Ingenious Iconoclast. Yeah, out of all the boxes I've opened, there's never opened a Duretti. So, we got another Mythic. Woo! Puts us at three or four, depending if you count the conspiracy. Hopefully, we can see a few more still. I'm getting down there. I got a handful of packs left. You can kind of see it off the top right of the camera. Ooh, Skyline Despot. This guy is actually really good. Big fan of the Monarch Man. What do we need? We need a ghostly prison, too. You usually you see one or two of those in a box. You need to see that. It's so this Goblin Racketeer. I feel like somebody's running a racket on me. Another Burning Wish. Man, the duplication in this box is nuts. Is that our third duplicate rare? A foil brush strider. I think it is. Third or fourth. That Burning Wish, Burgeoning. A beautiful blue card. At least three. Another Beast Within. And we got the Splitting Slime. We got another foil behind this, too. The Shambling Goblin. Look at that little face. That's a weird-looking goblin. And hold the Perimeter Rare. 
Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five packs left. Five packs. Come on, expropriate. If all three of my boxes could have an expropriate, I would be happy. And you're like, well, yeah, everybody would be. But I deserve it. Huh? Spirit of the Hearth. If you need hexproof and you want a cat to do it, he's your guy. Close out Recruiter of the Guard. Expropriate. That's how we want to finish here. Ooh, there we go. Finally, a ghostly prison. It's like a $5 uncommon. Needed that. Ooh, gutter snipe, not bad. Another pariah. That's our fourth or fifth. A duplicate rare. All right, come on. Let's stop with the rare duplication unless you're going to give me something useful. Give me two Recruiter of the Guards. Rogue's Passage. The Sphinx of Magosi. Two packs left. It's all here. It's all in these. Can we get my queen? Is she with us? Marchesa. Come on, Marchesa. Explosive vegetation. <gasps> Ooh, Regal Behemoth. That is a good one. Gives you that Monarch and lets you double up your mana. There's a solid rare. All right. Last pack. Let's get the... Uh, whoo! Let's get it. We need, we need a Mythic to close this out to recover any damage. We've got three. It's a three Mythic box. Come on. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah, that's a spicy oh, meatball. There it is. Expropriate in the clothes. Every box for me needs to have an expropriate. Look at him. See him smiling? That's me right now. Well, and a foil conspiracy card. That's cool. Okay. Thank you so much for being a friend and a part of the fun. He's right there.